Welcome to another exciting... Yeah, what the fuck ever. This is Richard's Garage again. We're back here with the E50. We're going to be uh, pulling some other parts off of it and getting it ready for teardown. <clears throat> now, I want to show you on this thing the bolts that holds it all together. Because this shit is fucking funny. Phillips screws for the clutch housing. <laughs> And the casing is held together with flathead screws. <laughs> now, oh, there's the drain plug, by the way. <coughs> oh, the one we couldn't find? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it looks like there's still some in it. Uh, I'm going to be replacing all these screws with Allen heads to make it easier to put back together, take apart, do shit with. Plus, I'll be able to actually tighten them properly instead of these dumbass screws. Yeah. Uh, we're going to go ahead and pull the flywheel off now. Now, there's spots in here where you can get this sometimes. Just try and not break your stator or nothing. <coughs> Man, that actually came off pretty easy. Well, like you said in the last video, nothing's really tightened down all that horribly. Bolt has a washer built into it, so you don't have to worry about that. Not something you want to use an impact wrench on. No. <laughs> We're going to show you how to uh, remove flywheels. <laughs> you can do this with lawnmower engines. That's where the best works. But you can do it with pretty much anything if you're careful. Now you don't want to smack it too hard. That's what or you'll she said. Fuck up your crank and your bearings. Since we're replacing that, it don't matter anyway. <laughs> All you want to do is find something to fry against. Which we're going to use one of these screws on the stator in there. We're just going to give it a little bit of pressure if I can. I'm actually going to just wedge it in there. Uh, or not. <laughs> okay. And then we're just going to smack this once. Okay, twice. Okay, again. <laughs> <laughs> and we're loose. That's all there is to taking a flywheel off. Unless you're working on a car and then it's a bitch to get to. <laughs> well, I say you don't want to hit it too hard because you don't want to do no damage to your crank. <coughs> this is your flywheel. These are your magnets. <coughs> now there's a keyway for a Woodruff key. And you don't want to lose that. So you want to find it on the motor. And on our motor, let's see if I can bring this around some. Can you see that? Let me try and get some nut out of the way. Yum yum. The Woodruff key is right there. And if Bear can get a shot of that, we're going to pop it out. There, that piece right there. You don't want to lose this because this is what keeps your flywheel in time with your crank. Amazing how one little piece will make the motherfucker yeah. run, right? The nice part about the flywheel is it's magnetic, so you can keep your Woodruff key, your bolt there. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> oh, shit on myself. <laughs> That's alright. I don't like the shirt anyway. One of these is the stator. Or, yeah, no. One of those is a, a generator, and one is the uh, magneto. I have no fucking clue which one's which right now. <laughs> I think the top one's the magneto, and the bottom one is the, uh, the uh, whatever the fuck you call it. Well, we'll go ahead and take that off now.
<coughs> now down in here is a uh, a rubber piece to keep water from getting down in your magneto and flywheel and everything. So we just pull that off. Then we pop this rubber piece out. And that can be a bitch to get out off sometimes because they're you know they get old and worn out and warped. Yeah, and they're actually there's one hole for each wire if I remember right. I'm trying to push it through from this side, so and be careful when you're doing this because you don't know how brittle these wires are and you could break one off of your magneto or something, which would suck. Yeah. <clears throat> And that's the last thing you need once you got this far. And just slide this off your wires. Just like that. Set it aside. And we'll be using heat shrink, so we won't even reuse that. Now we're going to go ahead and pull this, st this uh, stator plate off with the magneto and everything in place. <coughs> There's three bolts. If Bear can get a shot of them. There's one here. There's one here. And if you notice, they're slots. Let's see, so you can set the timing on the bike. Some say you can set the timing with the points. And to a point, that's actually, actually, well, I ain't gonna say true, but it works. And my, st my stator plates froze for some reason and won't turn. Couldn't be because it's been sitting out in the weather for eight years now. <laughs> okay, we're going to go ahead and pop this out now so it'll come out. Sorry if the camera's fucked up and getting my coffee. We'll just slide our, pl our s shit out real nice. Everything, this is the stator plate. Everything's bolted to it, your points. Here's your gap. If I can get a shot of that at all. Kinda. Let me get a focus on <clears throat> shit real quick. Your crank, your crank comes through here, and it, and there's a lobe on there that pushes on that to open those <coughs> when they need to be opened. And that's your uh, other thing. <laughs> I need one of them for my old lady. I can't remember what the hell that thing's called. Cause now. I got a lobe too, but it don't ever open her up. <laughs> But that's all there is to remove the front end. And as you can see, there's quite a bit of rust on the inside of that crank. We'll have to take care of that. Here's the seal, and you can see how much play there is in the bearings. Now, since this is a two-stroke, your whole, f almost all your fuel mixture goes through your crankcase. And then there's a. Uh, uh, and that one shit. They're they're like uh, they're little tunnels, and you'll get to see that too later. <coughs> I love where tunnels. Where your gas flow comes around the piston as it comes all the way back. Can I get one of those? That Fucking way. Sweet, thanks. No problem. And uh, uh, oh shit, we're we're at almost nine minutes. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Take it easy. We'll finish this next time. Talk to y'all later.